virtual instruments. The sounds, the synthesizer or the sounds are in the computer, not in a separate hardware unit. So we right click and we select insert virtual instrument on new track and it goes straight to the instruments that are available. I'll direct your attention to Proteus here. So let me just do that again. Right click, select virtual instrument on new track and double click on Proteus here. Yep, it, it's happening. Uh, this is an old VST, but it still works and it has some decent sounds actually. The first thing you have to do is you have to go to here and open, click that open symbol here, right, this one, and then you go to, it should open up to the right spot, Proteus X Composer. This is the one you want and double click that or hit open, cello. And that will actually load the sounds. It's a little bit of an old uh, software or instrument. Um, so, actually, while, this is pretty slow. Just wait for it. Okay, this is pretty slow. And there we go. If you hit 1 to 16 here, up here, yeah, single, 1 to 16, you'll see 1 to 16 here, which is the 16 MIDI channels that are available for us. And on each MIDI channel, one sound can be loaded. So you can have up to 16 sounds available and even sounding at the same time. Okay, so there's a lot of potential there. In case you don't see this, okay, let's say you're here or something, you know, um, you can just click on the Proteus up here, up here, and then this will appear again, okay? And then so one to 16 is what you want. Okay, now here's a very important thing. If you're going to use more than one sound with this instrument, then this is very important, okay? Pay special attention. You want to go to the FX, which is green. And then on the left here, you want to right click, okay, right click, and you want to go to build 16 channels of MIDI routing to this track, okay? I'll do that again, okay, escape. Uh, sorry, uh, left click on the FX. On the left side, right click on the, your instrument, which in this case is Proteus and then go down and click on build 16 channels of MIDI routing to this track, okay? Uh, this is very important if you're going to be using more than one sound with this instrument, okay? Let's just close this or you could, uh, let's close this or you could also hit escape. Now what you'll notice is you've got 16 channels now, uh, 16 tracks here, which are linked to the sound here. Okay, so <clears throat> if you get rid of the record enable and go to here, which is channel one, MIDI one, then you can play the sound that is on MIDI one. If you uncheck that and go down here, this is MIDI two. So you can play the sound that is on MIDI two. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate. Let's go up to here. And so now I am enabling MIDI one. If I go up here, which is where the actual instrument is loaded, okay, this is, this is where the actual instrument is loaded, and I go here, you'll find that on one, there's a piano loaded, dynamic gram, okay? So if I play on my MIDI keyboard here, I can play the sound. Now, I have to keep the volume down here so that I don't hear these sounds, okay? Now it's very soft, but I can hear it, okay? It's a soft instrument. Let me change the sound. I'll click on the drop-down list, and let me go to um, lead, LV's worm. Okay, I'll double click. Okay, it's a bit soft. Put the volume up a bit. Okay, so some weird sounds there. 
Then let me go to two here and change the sound uh, to um, BPM, free love. Wow, what's that? Okay. Okay, so I've got free love here. It's on number two, right? So this is on channel two here. So, escape. Uh, I have to go and record enable two so I can be sending my keyboard information to two, which is gonna be sent to channel two in the instrument, which is here, okay? So, so now I'm playing MIDI two, which is, uh, here's the instrument, Proteus FX, okay? That's where the instrument is residing. And on channel two is free love. Now if I go to three, I can do the same thing. I can add a different sound, okay? Let's go to bass. Let's try bad tube, double click. And uh, let's click out of it. And let me go to the tracks here. I'll get rid of the record enable and go to MIDI three and record enable that. So when I play, play here, then I'm going to be playing the sound that is loaded in channel three on the Proteus instrument there.